Hey guys, today I'm showing you how to make these super sweet marbled sugar cookies. I think these would be great to wrap up and give to your friends and family and loved ones this Valentine's Day. I just think giving a homemade gift is a really nice touch. So into a big bowl, I'm going to combine my sugar and butter together. Make sure your butter is softened, otherwise it'll be really hard to beat together. That's looking a lot creamier now. I'm gonna pour in the vanilla extract to give the cookie a bit of flavor. Followed by one large egg, and I'm gonna beat that all together. I love this recipe as it's super easy to make. All that's left to do is to add in my dry ingredients. So I've got some baking powder and some salt. That's going in there. And finally, adding in my plain flour. Everything is pretty much combined now, so I'm going to use my hand and knead that into a dough. I'm giving my cookies a marble effect as I think this looks really pretty and really arty. So I'm gonna split my dough in half. I'm keeping one half plain and I'm coloring the other half pink. But if you don't want to do these for Valentine's Day, you could switch up the color for your party or for a birthday. So add one half into a separate bowl and I'm going to use some gel food color to dye mine. Make sure you use a gel food color as it won't change the consistency. I've got this amazing pink by using hardly any of the color. So I'm now going to mix that in with the non-colored cookie dough. I'm gonna break those off into some smaller pieces. Make sure you don't knead it too much as you just want it to create a lovely marble effect. So give it a few turns to get that pink into the uncolored cookie dough. I'm gonna flatten that out and I'm gonna cover that with some cling film and put it in the fridge for about 30 to 60 minutes just to firm it up. And as you can see, I've got more of a pink cookie now with lovely swirls going through it. Now that my dough is chilled and firm, it's going to be so much easier to work with. It'll be less sticky when rolling it out, but if you need to, you can sprinkle over some more flour, but try not add too much, as we don't want to dry out the biscuit. So take it out of the cling film, and I'm rolling that to a quarter inch thick. Once you've rolled it out, you can really see that marble effect and I love the colors that it makes and the swirls. You've got some deeper bits and some lighter bits. You'll have some cookies that are completely pink, but I think that's really nice to get a bag full of lots of different colors. I'm going to use a very small heart cookie cutter, but you can make these as big or as small as you would like. So I'm gonna press those out. And then I'm going to place it onto a baking tray and I've lined that with some baking paper so it doesn't stick. I like to put mine back in the fridge to firm up a bit while I preheat my oven. That way it will prevent them from spreading as much in the oven.
Once my cookies are out of the oven and they're still warm, I love to sprinkle over some caster sugar to make them even more delicious. And don't forget, I'll leave all of the ingredients and oven temperatures in the description box below. And if you love Valentine's treats like I do, I'll be uploading another video next Thursday, which is perfect for Valentine's Day. So if you're not already, subscribe by pressing the red button and also that little bell and you'll be notified when that video is up. They're out of the oven and they have cooled and they look super cute. Let's have a try. Mmm. Nice and crunchy. And I love that bit of caster sugar on top. Gives it that extra delicious flavour. I think these treats would be perfect to wrap up as a gift and to give to that special someone in your life this Valentine's Day. They would definitely be appreciated. So that is how you make my super simple marble sugar cookies. Easy.